Right guys, welcome down to one of, possibly, for every golfer out there, one of the greatest places in the world. It's Golf Bidder and we are back. <laughs> I'm <laughs> excited. We got two empty golf bags and this is the rematch. Yeah, if you've not seen the videos from last year, basically me and Rick came down here, 500 quid budget at Golf Bidder and we get to pick out a full set and then battle it out over a match over 18 holes. Now, I don't want to brag, but I do. So I won last year and, you know, best set, best golf, best everything, really. So I want my revenge. So we've got 500 pounds to spend. We're going to do a bit, re I'm going to do a bit of research first about the clubs because I think I, I, I misguided my club choice last year. So we're going to be a bit more sensible this year. And then we're going to pick them out, stick them in our bags and then play with them. Yeah, let's get in. Come on, can't wait any longer. So come on in, come on through. This is... Oh my god, you're back! Where the magic happens. You're back! I'm not skiving off work, I'm not practice putting. Are you sure? Welcome back. Well, yeah. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> How's How it going? Are you okay? Welcome back. Absolutely amazing to be back, to be honest. You basically scratched the surface of the winter wonderland wow. in there of golf clubs, so it why not go back amazing. again? Pick some stuff. Go oh, that you remember that you from days past. Assemble a bag full of clubs. Go out tomorrow, rematch. See if you can do this time. Yeah, so guys, let us know in the comments below who do you think is going to win the rematch first off? And what clubs would you choose in this wonderful Aladdin's cave? Aladdin's of cave, the best really way to describe it. We're going to quickly jump on the computer because the best way to see all the stuff is on the website. So we're going to jump on golfbidder.co.uk and then we're going to go in the back and then pick up all the clubs that we've got. No telling anybody that I was skiving off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he was. <laughs> right, guys, so they've got a showroom down here at Golf Bidder, but we're going to go on the website and basically pick our clubs, get the list printed off, and then introduce you to the Aladdin's Kent. There's literally the only way of describing it. Okay, I've got my driver's side. Oh, so we're not doing a ready, steady go then? I've got it inside. I'm off already. <laughs> Someone's taking this overly serious. Right, okay. How long should we give ourselves? Uh, five minutes. Five minutes, okay. Join us in five minutes. Right, I am done. I am finished, done, in, within five minutes. You've got, you've got two minutes left. Two minutes left. Okay. I'm interested to see what you're thinking. Can I come round? I haven't really picked much yet. No, so no, I, no, I, no, not yet. No, not yet. No, not yet. <coughs> not yet. Don't be that guy. Then that guy golfer who comes around and sees what everyone else is picking. I think I think I've got four hundred and ninety-five pound. As long as I don't change my mind. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> right, right I'm done. I'm you done. done. I'm gonna I'm, say you've got literally I'm, ten seconds I'm, left. I'm done. I'm not entirely convinced that was my most best performance at this task, but I'm I'm happy with 80% of my bag there. <laughs> so we're going to jump now into the into the warehouse where normally the clubs get picked, but they give us special permission to go there in the back and go and pick them. Um, I don't think any of them are on stock, we'll have to have a look. But then we'll get in there, fill the bags up, and uh, show you what it's all about. <laughs> I can't lie. I hope we've not picked any of the same. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we are back again. Where to start, where to start, where to start. I'm going to start with an old classic. Right guys, this is just a little sneak peek. A little sneak peek into this Aladdin's cave. Just look at this place. It is absolutely unreal. And you'll see more as we go on. I've got my empty bag here and I'm starting with the drivers. And for the first club, all I wanted was someone that was spinning really, really low with a really stiff shaft. I could smack an absolute mile. So I've gone for the Big Bertha Alpha, uh, gravity core bang in the middle. It's an adjustable neck. It's set at nine degrees at the moment. It's got an X stiff shaft. Oh, focus. I'll take my word for it. It's a very stiff shaft. Uh, it's our Tegla Tour. Uh, and this is going to be the top of my bag. 99 quid. 99 quid for this boy. Right, next up. Bear with me. Okay, the putter wall. I'm going to go straight to the putter wall. No messing about here. And I've picked. The Odyssey White Hot Sabretooth, £54. Let's try and find it. <laughs> These are the Odyssey putters. Okay, I think we spotted it. It is just there. Sabretooth putter. Oh, nice thick grip on it as well. Very nice. That's the one. Sabretooth putter. 
in the bag. Oh my goodness. How many golf balls? Okay, so for my fairway wood, I was going to go three wood, but then I thought I'd go a little bit older and a little bit more lofted. And for 40 quid, I got this little bad boy. <laughs> 19 degree 90, 980F Titleist fairway wood, X stiff. God, do you remember this shaft? Who remembers this shaft? Pro 475. Oh my word. And this still looks. It still looks fantastic. It really, really does. And I went for a five wood, just because I'm going to go from, I think a four to a pitching wedge is my iron selection, which we'll get to in a moment. And if I went a three wood, I didn't really feel there was going to be that much of a gap in. Classic shape, classic club. It's still going to be amazing, I can tell. Oh, don't drop it. I can feel it in me waters. Right, after um, quite an extensive search, and I mean this, quite an extensive search of all of the wedges, probably taken me about five minutes to find them. I have spotted wedge number one. So this is wedge number one, CG15, zip grooves, 58 degree, and the face in pretty decent condition. Should be able to get some spin off of those. That is in the bag. First wedge is there. Okay, <laughs> I'll tell you what, finding the wedges isn't very easy in this, but luckily, normally you don't have to do this bit. Um, here's my other wedge. This is the RTX 588 2.0 wedge and I've got this in 52 degrees. No, I've not got it in 50 degrees. Perfect. Just what I want. <laughs> Put that in there. So I've got 50, 58 putter. Let's move on to what's coming up next. Before I do that, I'm going to go and find Pete. So I want to see what he's been getting. He's been, he was very... Oh, he's there. What have you been getting? Nothing. <laughs> Show me. I've not got anything. I've not got anything. I where's promise you. you. I'm not. Bag? I'm not got anything. My bag. My bag's just. It's. It's out of. No. 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 Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> okay. Back it up. Guys, I was lying. I've just got these. Mizuno MP68. What was that? What? What did you get? Nothing. Stiff shafts in there and really, really good condition grips. Oh my word. So I think these were 209. I'll just have to double check, but just over 200 quid. Oh god, these look terrible. How am I going to play well with these? Okay, so iron set. Now, this is where I messed up last year because I went for a really, really old set of pings. Are they even here still? Someone buy them? They're like the beryllium set of pings, which was a um, in hindsight, a huge mistake because the lofts on them were unbelievably weak. But I have learnt my lesson. In fact, where are the pings? There's, these are all ping irons. I hope the brilliums are still here. I've gone for a brand that is now tremendously close to my heart. Close to my heart. I miss my little Nike swooshes. My bright yellow ones and green ones and vault ones. I miss them. And I've gone for something a bit old school. Uh-oh. Let's get these out. Oh my goodness. Four to pitching wedge, perfect. And then I can go gap wedge, lob wedge, putter. Nike VR Pro, you're in the bag. Now last year I saved up literally all of my money. I really, really scrimped and saved on everything to make sure I could get a Scotty. But I've switched it up a little bit this year. So I'm not gonna go for the pings. I'm not gonna go for any of this. I'm gonna go old school for a yes putter. So I went for the Tracy 2. Now this is the putter, the yes putter, which Matt Fitzpatrick still has in the bag. So that should tell you the overall quality of this club. And I used to have a couple of Yes Putters actually. I had the Cali for a while, but it's just a super, super classic design. The grip's in fantastic nick as well. It's quite a thick one. And I think this one is pro probably gonna be my surprise package. I think this is the one that I'm gonna like the most and I'm gonna put the absolute lights out with. For all you short game heads out here, 
This is a, uh, <laughs> this is the place to be. These are all the wedges. These are all the wedges. And what I've done to try and blend into my irons a little bit, I've gone for some Mizunos. Loser. So for my two wedges, I went for the R12, the MPR12, and the T5. Now I've got this in a 52 and a 58 degree, just so the gap in's not too far away from each other. I mean, normally I would like to throw a, a wedge in between those, go 52, 56, 60. But for my budget, uh, I've just managed to get these two in. So 49 quid for the bottom wedge, 53 quid for the top wedge, and just in really excellent condition, both of them. And feeds in nicely to my Mizuno irons. I've gone very Mizuno today. Okay, so Pat, the set is now building up and we are now on the hunt for some long stuff. If you've been a watcher for a while, you will know Three Woods are not my favourite golf clubs in the world. So I've taken the conscious decision not to go for a Three Wood and I've actually found, and this kind of goes slightly against, I don't know where it's gone, goes slightly against what I've been, I'm getting a bit lost in here. I wish... I wish I had enough money for this. I wish, my baby. But I've just not got enough money for that. And I can't find any other Cobras, the old ones with the, with the rails. So because of that, because I'm, I'm railless in the fairway wood department, I'm going to my next most trusty club which is down here, right. It's the two iron that I already have in my bag. <laughs> so I've decided to go for the Apex UT because that's the club I prefer. Okay, so the driver, the big boy, the big dog, the animal, the beast. Got a few options. What are you doing? I'm just uh, doing what I normally do, looking at you changing drives every two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good. This ping i15 9.5 in a fancy shaft. You know what? I think my decision may have been made. So it was me thinking you were still in there and you're out here. Don't mess around me, mate. Once I've made my choice, once I've made my decision, I'm what's called an iron connoisseur. I get in, I get out, and I want to go use them tomorrow. And that's what we're doing. Right, guys, all done. And. We have our bags. We have a rough idea of how much they cost. I think I'm under. I think I'm over or bang on. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm bang on. Well, we will see. Donald, I'll give put us, you out give of us your the misery. rundown. You give guys, us the rundown. You're just getting too good at this. You're both bang on 500 quid. <laughs> really? I'm not, I'm not joking you. You're both bang on 500. It's just unreal. Well done. Well, to be fair, the only one that I swapped, I was pretty much bang on or just under and I swapped the driver, which I knew was a bit over. So I thought I was going to be close or bang on. And the, you swapped your irons though, didn't you? Yeah, I switched my iron around. I was going to get I was going to get some Cobra irons originally, but then I used Cobra irons last year and I thought that'd give me an unfair advantage. Cobra irons now. Uh, so. <laughs> Beautiful said MP68, this i15 driver is going to be lovely. So you used to have that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, this is literally my drive. I've almost got my set from a, from another, another day. So I've got Ping i15 driver. What's the price on that, Donald? 65 quid. I've gone for my Callaway Apex UT2 iron. That's just the one you use it? That's literally the club I use. That's 109, I think. It's 109 Yep. Uh, then I've gone Nike VR Pro irons. Ooh. Tiger Woods-ish. Yep. Yeah, price on that. 185 quid. Okay, and I've gone two wedges, 50 degree uh, Cleveland CG15, and then a 58 degree, no, the other way around, actually. 50, 50 degree RTX 5AA a wedge I used to have, <laughs> and <laughs> CG15, uh, 58 degree. Yeah. You won't go I want familiarity them. this time. And last but not least, I've gone for the uh, saber tooth. Do you set that as well? No, because if I'm thinking on this, two reasons why I got this. One, it picks up the golf ball exceptionally well. Yeah. And the other one is if I'm losing badly, it's a great weapon. You're playing Burr Hill, aren't you, with it? We're playing Bearwood Lakes. Oh, Bearwood Lakes. Well, so. don't put that down into the hole and <laughs> race the ball out, okay? Wow, wow, that's a, that's a good set. That's a good set. I mean, you've gone very samey-samey there. I've gone, I've gone for what I, what I felt like I'd get used to. So, check out that bad boy. Big birth alpha, we were just saying it. Right. I can't believe, is it 2012? Uh, 2012, I think. I think. 
Okay. It, was the, it was the Isaac Newton thing that, about yeah. gravity core and yeah. all that jazz. It's, the, it's a good head cover, I'll give you that. It, it, it does, driver it does that. look me. It's um, not a terrible driver. Well, with, 99 quid. Hey, with my Supreme Strike for that price, absolutely fine. Uh, this one, this one is my favourite. I'd I say must admit, I'm a little bit jealous yeah, of that. Yeah, that one is still as good today. 980 Titleist Fairway. Oh my god, still looks fantastic. Look how, look how it looks on the. And who can down. remember that shaft, the yellow and oh, purple shaft? Everyone, everyone had that. Anybody had that was that. played golf in our era. That is, uh, that's a golf And the shaft. 917 driver has just gone back to that gun metal finish. I mean, it looks exactly like that because it was so popular. I've got my Bad Boy Mizuno irons, the MP68s. I've never actually, we're saying, I've never actually had a set of Mizuno irons before. I could yeah. only just dream of hitting those, just not a chance. Well, we'll see tomorrow. <laughs> We've gone very blade, haven't we? Yeah. Where do you think we are at the moment? I think what we did, we went just shiny. <laughs> we're shiny. Yeah. It's shiny. Um, I've got Mizuno wedges as well, I've got TP5 and then a R15 or R, what was it? No, R12. Well yeah, well I thought that when I got it, I thought R12. Um, I must admit your wedges are in really good condition. Yeah, really very good. One of the red, one one of them's actually got the, the cover still on the grip. Yeah. Seen that? Yeah. Like the cover is still on the grip. What price are they? 53 quid for the one with the cover on the grip. It's fantastic. Those irons were just over 200 as well. Uh, 20, what was it? 202. 202. 202. I actually remember that one. And I'm really excited about using this. Yeah. Matt's just Patrick's butter. The actual one. Mm -hmm. uh, he traded in a couple of days ago. Right. Yeah. Struggling with it. Yeah, really struggling. Uh, he's gone up to a... Uh, he's not bad, is he? You can put it like him tomorrow, you'll be doing all right. If I could do anything like him tomorrow, I'll be all right. Yeah. And that was pretty cheap. Was that like 50, was it? 58 quid. So we have got our sets ready. We have got the venue set on Bearwood Lakes tomorrow morning. Mm. Um, I think now a practice session is in need. I would say so. Or go Not. back and edit <laughs> the video. Um, <laughs> we are really excited. We're excited about this doing the second hand challenge again. Let us know in the comments below who do you think is going to win. And also, what clubs would you have potentially picked if you had this opportunity? And who do you think has got the best bag? Who do you think has got the best bag? Should we do a poll for that? Yeah. He's... A poll in the corner. That corner, that corner. Right guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Donald, thank you for- Get out of here, you rascals. Being an amazing, Don't play amazing host. Thank you for having us down here as well. Uh, Golf Bidder, thank you for allowing us to do this oh, challenge. Come on. I know you guys absolutely love it. And we will see you. <coughs> Bell legs. I'm off as well. Close the curtains, shut the door off we go. <laughs> <laughs>